Alright guys, today I've got a new uh, video review here. This is going to be on an app and it's called Apsy Sidebar, if I'm saying that correctly. And basically what you do is you just go to your Play Store down here in the back, right here, Play Store, on your device, whether that's a tablet or a smartphone. This is on my Nexus 7 to just show you guys how it functions. And you go ahead and hit the install, which I've already done, you can see that then you just hit the open button and it will open up into here in some settings um, but we're actually just going to go back and you're going to see right here on the side this slides open and this is the sidebar setup now it's a lot that this does and I've actually already done some configuring with it myself um, just for fun and playing with this thing which is pretty cool um, so a couple quick things I'm going to go over for you. This up here is really important. This is your home, but if you tap it again, and then you click this one, this is all of your applications and a huge list, and they can be launched from here, um, and you can go right to like clock, and it'll go to clock, and you can see also that this runs over every application, so you can easily access it while you're in another application. Um, see would be another one here. Uh, play games. You can see it's still here on the side and you can pull it right back up. Now you saw how we could change from apps to home right here. You can also do it this way. Just do a slide and it changes. So on a big device it's kind of nice you don't have to go up to the top and touch that. You can just slide your finger across and it'll change from home to apps. Um, I like that feature a lot. It's very very nice. Um, let's go ahead and go into options here or edit home I think is the best way to do it and you can see some of the stuff that you have in here some choices you can hold down on something like here's weather I put in there and you can delete it or you can go to add home plugins and you guys can see a bunch of the plugins that you have these are the ones up here top that I already have set up but you can add in calls downloads um, Wi-Fi info I'm gonna add that one in there add some more um, put weather back because I liked it and I have Gmail and some different things and then you can also just hold down and uh, see if I can hit this here I think you can just yeah just just slide them around and rearrange them how you want you can also add widgets right here and add those things in also I'm going to do analog clock and you can put that in also and do some settings there when you're done just go ahead and hit done and now you'll see that you have these in here now weather, Wi-Fi, that information is all there. Analog clock, actually when you click on it, just brings you to the clock. Um, so it doesn't actually show you anything that I can see anyway on this screen. It just brings you to that widget. Um, so it's a shortcut to the widget is what it boils down to. So that's very nice. Also, if you go into apps or, like I said, this way either. Either way is fine. Scrolling across. And you go into its settings you can go to, let me go back, I don't want to do that. Hit too many buttons here. Um, go to favorites and you can add favorites. So pick your favorite applications. You know, I like all the Google stuff normally. A lot of that kind of goodies. YouTube, of course, you know, Google Plus, all that, all that kind of stuff in here. Photos, so Gmail, there we go and hit done and now when you scroll over you should have I didn't hit done there we go now when you scroll over there you go so all your favorites are in there and um, you got them right at the top of your list but also all of your apps are also listed in there but your favorites are right at top just for convenience and easy access um, so those are some very cool things you can do. You can see I've got some settings in here which we're going to get into in a second because that's really how you can really customize these, this bar. Something else I want to show you guys that's uh, kind of neat and I like about this is that you can go in here to options, hotspot, position and gesture. So I don't like it on that side. I'm right handed so I like it over here on the right hand so I can use my thumb and get into all this stuff pretty easily. So we're going to set that there. And now you can see that the access is all from this side. And if you want to go right there, boom, 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 um, you can swipe through things, go to calendar or whatever. Um, so that's very, very nice. So you can go back into options. I'll show you some of the other settings in here. So we have manage hotspots. We have hotspots, uh, positions and gestures that I already showed you that. 
um, hotspot visible. This says hotspot color. So you can come in here and pick, you know, I don't know, let's try a red one, and it changes your hotspot color, which is a, a nice little feature. You can also do hotspot transparency, which is going to be if you can see through that little button or not, which is a nice effect that you can change on here, which is real nice. Hotspot width, this is how wide that bar is. So if you want it a little skinnier, you go to like 10. If I can get it there. Oh, we'll do 11 anyway. You just see it's narrow on the side. So a lot of features for customization of this thing. Um, you can also go in here to look and feel. And you have different themes you can choose, light or dark. Um, this is a secondary color, so this is like the color of the header. So we can do like a gray. And you can see up here on the top it's now gray instead of blue. Um, so things there. Here's some uh, more transparencies you can adjust on the device also for like backgrounds. So choose background and here you can say custom background and you can actually pick an image from your gallery and it will put that as the background on this screen right here instead of black. You will have that background. So lots of customization in here for sure. Uh, I really like the customization. That's probably the nice one of the nicest things about this is all of this customization. You can really make it match your theme or whatever you're running on your device, um, phone or tablet. So just so you can see also this is FC 1.5. Um, we can go to home screens and you can enable that music player. That's how I got that working right there. Media player field, you can have that in there also. And it tells you songs, titles, however you want to put it in there. Um, so that's right there with that information. You have notifications. Um, so I like to do use minimal notifications because if you don't, you see you got this notification up here running all the time. It's consistent. Um, so if you hit minimal, it's not in the top bar, but yet it is still up there. You see right there? It is still running. So um, I like to adjust that also. You have some troubleshooting stuff. Um, new plugin packages. You can download things here for context calendars, SMS, uh, SMS plugins, some settings, a whole bunch of other things you can add to expand on this and do even more with it, which is really, really nice. So there you go. Let's. This is kind of how I like it. I'm going to go ahead and go back into options again here and change my feel. Like I said, this gray, I really liked it, the blue, which is the way it comes. Um, you can see that header right now is blue. Uh, there's some real cool stuff in here, like I said, just, just a lot of customization in the settings here that are very, very nice for this thing. And like I said, just if you want to switch, boom, right there, you got your home dock. If you want to launch your email, like I said here, boom, you can go into email, you can see some YouTube stuff I've got going on right there. And it opens up and runs over every application really nicely, very smooth. You can go ahead and play your music. The other thing I'm going to show you guys really quick here is in options in here. And... I think it's under here sidebar width right here so if you have a tablet you may want to make your sidebar width narrow if you have a phone you don't have a lot of screen so you want, want to make it like kind of big so I think it comes default at 80 and you can see when you open it up you got a big screen open up right there for a tablet it's too much but for a phone you you want that just because you don't have as much you know real estate to work with so um, I've cranked mine down on this one just because of that and we'll put it back to like around 60 is where I had it, which is uh, a really nice size opening up on the side versus the whole screen. Um, so there you go. That's that's pretty much most of it. Um, developer is really cool. See, I actually got a message from him, Nick Mart Martins, if I say that correctly. Sorry if I butchered it. Um, and it's got some good features in it. So very nice. There is more plugins. You can put in some messaging things. You can see here if you want to go to you know, your downloads, you can see I actually downloaded the APK. Um, if you want to go to music, you saw that already. Uh, more home plugins, you can go ahead and just click on that and go into the App Store and install these sample plugins, which I have right here. Um, they're already installed, so some of the stuff you saw in there were already these sample plugins. So those are really nice, it's all free. Um, and like I said, Wi-Fi, if you click on Wi-Fi, I want to see. Yeah, it does open up, actually opens up Tether, which is interesting. Uh, very interesting. So it does open up that. And weather, let's see what weather opens up. Weather opens up Google and brings you to Google. A little card for weather as well. 
Um, so nice shortcuts. I, I like it. It's a very nice uh, sidebar manager. Get all your apps, the gestures, the functions are all right there. Very, very cool. So there you go. That is my review of AppSy Sidebar. Um, very, very cool application. Please check it out. Go to Google Play. Download this thing. It's awesome. As always, hey, check me out Root Junkie right here. This is my website. Lots of great goodies on there. Constantly updating that thing. Facebook, a Twitter on the other side. We'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.